Hey guys! First of all, thank you all for all your love and support and 40,000 subscribers! Let's make this number even bigger! And of course, to have a treat for you, I made a mysticarts.com blog and website you can check out here. So you can go to my page and see what's new, uh, check out the latest news, and while you're there, you can also see the big news about my own manga drawing book. Yes, that's right. It will be called Manga Crash Course. It's published by Impact Books and it's currently on pre-sale on Amazon.com. You can pre-order it or you can wait for it to come out in all the USA bookstores on February, Mar March 2015. So you'll have all of my premium knowledge in there, you'll have a lot of uh, spe specialized lessons about drawing manga eyes, faces, expressions, bodies, entire characters. So all of my techniques specially made for you in this book. In light of these events, let's start our today's video themed what you need to start in manga or how to start in manga. I know a lot of you are scared being beginners, not knowing anything, and when you look at your favorite manga, it's just perfect and it looks awesome and it's just full of these little details. So I will show you that it's nothing to be scared about and I'll show you that it's nothing that you need a lot of expensive equipment to start drawing. Lesson 1. Papers. This is a big no-no. Just don't use papers with any kinds of lines, squares, shapes, unicorns, whatever. They will just mess up your drawing and make a lot of lines that will prevent people from seeing your work. You will need a clear piece of paper. You can find these drawing sketching books or even have one most probably in your house right now or just use blank pieces of paper to draw on. That's the most important thing. Also, uh, these kinds of papers are really thin so I suggest you put another piece of paper under the one you're drawing on so that you protect the next paper from being uh, transfer to, to transfer color to transferring to transfer pressure because then it will look all crumpled and uh, you won't be able to draw on the next piece of paper next thing as i said you don't need expensive equipment not until you're going professional when you're a beginner when you're uh, just starting up drawing manga you will have only the things in your school supply kit. So you will have a regular pencil, drafting pen. I, I like the mechanical pencils more, so if you have those they are a bit better. Uh, uh, don't use soft centered ones. Uh, use, use the regular ones for writing because they won't smudge with your palm. So th this is the most important tool of all, the regular pencil. Next up we have a white, clear white, soft eraser. Erasers are really important because you won't be drawing the final manga look with a regular pencil. You will erase the pencil and make those extra crispy black lines by using a different tool. Let's just recap on any basic manga. For example, you have the white areas, the gray areas and the black areas. And the black areas are not done in pencil, they are done with ink. And you have different types of ink. For example, we have you can use any type of black marker. Thin black marker to draw those lines or for bigger surfaces you can use a regular CD marker 
this black regular CD marker just to color the big black areas. Nothing expensive, nothing special, and we'll do the trick. And because everything in manga is black and white, we usually make mistakes. People who work, even professionals, make mistakes. So to correct mistakes, we use regular art supply white paint and a paintbrush just to cover the pieces we messed up. Or you can even use the white paint to make special effects like sprinkle water effects or snow effects on the black areas. Final piece of advice for everybody who wants to draw manga is draw big. Draw everything bigger than this page you usually see mangas on because the original manga pages are drawn on huge pieces of paper and then shrunken down to this size of our palms. So don't be afraid to draw big. Draw big eyes, draw big characters, draw everything big and just use your inspiration and use your knowledge you collected to make awesome new mangas and see you next time.